Hey, what's up, Nikki? This is Eric. I'm posting this video on my um, YouTube video for you, um, or YouTube channel for you. Now, you asked me for some simple self-defense techniques. Um, I'm going to do today's video solo, and then tomorrow I'll have a partner helping me. So, the first thing I want you to practice is just getting into this stance right here. It's not the boxing stance, it's here. And I'll explain why you're here in a minute. Now, this stance right here protects the, protects the center line, which is anywhere from the top of your head to the ground that your feet are the ground that your feet is standing on. Now, you put one hand in front of the other to one particular center line, which is your which contains your vital organs, your heart, um, eyes, throat, etc. This hand protects that. Okay. So, and your front hand is usually your dominant hand. Now, the front hand is going to push away any punch or attack your attacker may come, come in with. So you push away and you strike. Now, when you strike, you can strike with a punch, a punch, an open hand, a palm strike, um, a claw, which is basically a palm strike with your fingers extended. And then you can rip. Now, the areas you can strike are the chest, which is the solar plexus, the bridge of the nose, the eyes, the throat, and the groin, and the knees. I want you to memorize those. Knees. Groin, throat, eyes, and the top of the head. Now, um, a lot of people, if you're able-bodied, which you are, and I noticed from your yoga videos that you have really strong legs. Use that. Now, when a when an attacker comes towards you, step on the foot. Step on the foot. Okay. Then knee him in the groin. Now, what are your hands doing at this time? Keep in mind, your hands are up to block and strike or parry and strike. A parry is just to push away. So, push away his hand, strike. Step on the foot and knee the groin. Now, when you're, when you're, when you have the hands up, depending on the force that you feel, you can grab the hand or grab the attacker's arm, and that way you'll have control of the arm as you're also going in for the groin. Now. As you go in for the groin, 
hit hit with a palm or a tiger claw. Because you can rip down, take his eyes. If you can take his line of sight, if you can take how he breathes, he won't be able to come after you. So, take away sight, breathing, and mobility. And he won't be able to follow you. Then, you back away very slowly. Well, back away very, excuse me, back away very quickly, but be mindful of your surrounding. Get your get your cell phone out because I know you carry one, and call nine one one. And another thing, it is very very important that when someone is attacking you, you you use your voice. No, but get away from me. Let the people know that may be around you that you're not the aggressor. Because if they see that you're not the aggressor, if the attack goes into a court of law, then you can say, well, this witness was here, they heard me, and they saw me. Give verbal commands for him to back away before I countered his attack. That'll save you in the court of law. Now, like I said, this is just the first video. Um, several more will probably come in the next couple of weeks. Let me know what you think of this one. And I'll expand on it in the coming weeks. I may even expand on this one tomorrow since I'll have a partner with me. Alright, uh, just let me know what you think. And keep making your videos because I love them. Um... Thanks for watching, and like I said, let me know what you think. Alright, bye-bye, Nikki. I will talk to you later.